Hey guys, Adrian here from the Digital Dojos at digitaldojos.com. I know it's been a while. I wanted to come back with a series of reviews. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Logitech Wireless Headset H800. Now this is a wireless headset, one of the top of the lines by that of Logitech that retails for about $100. Uh, it's that that allows you to connect to your PC, multiple devices via Bluetooth, and just a comfortable wireless headset is what Logitech touts it as. So in the box, what you get for this is you get the headset itself, you get a nano receiver that Logitech is very famous for, and a USB micro cable that you can use to charge it when the wireless set headset runs out of battery. Now, first off, I want to start with the design of the product. And overall, the design by itself gets about a 3 out of 5 for me. You can see on the right side here, it allows for on-ear controls. You have the volume up, volume down, mute microphone controls, your controls, your controls, your controls. You also have an adjustable boom mic that comes out the right side here that has a little bit of flex to it. On the side of the uh, right ear cup here, you have a couple of controls as well. You have the power on for that of either Bluetooth, if you're connecting it to a Bluetooth device like an iPhone or an iPad, and the nano receiver to power it on to connect to a PC, be it Mac or Windows. Uh, additionally, you have a little LED light that shows status of battery life and connectivity, along with a little flip switch here that really flimsy but allows you to connect, or say next or previous on music controls, and along with that micro USB cable to charge. On the left side, the flip side, you have a little compartment for the rest of your nano receiver. You can actually just pop this cap off by twisting it, allowing you to access to the components in that of the nano receiver compartment. So you can easily just click the nano uh, receiver in here, take it on the go, and uh, that's really what this headset's meant. No wires, it's just meant to be portable. You can use it for your music listening around the house, all of that good stuff. Uh, and additionally around the headset you have it's majority again it's it's majority made out of plastic you have here that chrome on the left is foam on the left ear and right 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 ear of course on the top ear that does a good comfort you know comfortability uh, over long term use uh, you can also fold the headset up using these foldable hinges here to kind of take it on the go if you kind of just want to fold it up store it away or you know take it out and about. So with that, looking at the design again, it's it's a lot, it's really plasticky. But with that, let's jump into the tech specs. The tech specs, it uses a wireless, it uses a 2.4 gigahertz band, which is about 40 feet of uh, roaming or 12 meters, and uh, with the nano receiver, that is. It has a built-in equalizer for sound, has on-ear controls. In my testing, I got about six, five to six hours of battery life with a full charge. And you also get a noise-canceling boom mic uh, that comes out the right side. Um, with that, let's go ahead and take a look at the features of the headset and connectivity. So here I have it hooked up to my Mac via the wire uh, when it's charging. You can also, again, use it wired or wireless. Um, to connect it to the nano receiver, you simply put the nano receiver in, uh, switch it on the uh, right side of the headphones here, and you'll see you automatically get control. Drivers weren't really an issue, be it Mac OS X or Windows. You automatically get control, and you can see here you can easily connect and use the controls on the headset themselves. Now, for Bluetooth, I use my iPhone here as a test case here. Uh, and most Bluetooth devices, I had no problems connecting it here. You simply turn on the Bluetooth on the switch, wait for the LED indicator to go into discover mode for the headset here. You will then go on your device, flip the switch here, and uh, after you flip the switch here, you will see that you have your headset show up. You can click it, it'll be connected, and then you can go to something like the music app to get full connectivity. One bug I noticed in iOS with this device actually though was that um, when you're controlling the music in, in the music app, for example, you can adjust the volume, you can adjust the play and pause, but when you adjust the volume, it doesn't actually show on the iPod itself. It only show, it adjusts it on the headset, so you won't actually get some feedback on the iOS device, um, be it iPhone or iPad. That said, the last feature, of course, is that the microphone itself. Um, now, a lot of people probably want to know what that sounds like, so I shot a quick audio test with that of the Logitech 8800, and in all honesty, it's not that great. You wouldn't expect better quality out of the price point, but with a wireless headset, it has a really tinny sound and a really kind of, best way I can describe it is kind of digital sound. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, here's the audio test with the Logitech 8800. This is a quick test recording showing off the Logitech wireless H800's audio quality. As you can tell, it's kind of, it's really grainy or in the sense not as, as clear cut. It's decent for that of, Skype conversations or regular conversations through webcam, etc. Um, but not the best in quality as you'd expect. This is wireless, this is being all done via the receiver. Um, it's, you know, recommendable for calls, etc. Even picking up calls on the iPhone, it sounds pretty decent, but not so much for recording purposes. 
With that all looked at, let's get into the pros and cons. Pros, it is a wireless headset. It does that. You know, there's no wires. You can have the wire connect. You got a good range, having a good range, having a good range, having a good range of motion, and you can roam about. Compatibility, it had really good, you know, compatibility in terms of drivers. You can use it with a PC, a, a smartphone, or a tablet. It has a Bluetooth and nano receiver compatibility. And it has decent sound. Now, I say decent, not the best. Okay for music, okay for decent listening while you're at home, in the office, etc. But only decent. Going into the cons here, really poor build quality in my opinion. I understand again the material is mainly plastic for the signal, but it just feels really cheap, really flimsy. And again, the price point at $100, I feel like there's a lot of better solutions out there. You can even almost get a really better mic or headset um, and then a separate mic with that, you know, at that cost. And again, speaking about the mic, it's a really horrible mic. Now, I know a lot of people think this is okay. I've read a lot of reviews about this, and people are talk about it. Um, it's decent for that of Skype calls and, and, and you know stuff like that. But again, coming from a traditional mic like the one I'm using now, it's really poor. I've even had $20 wired mics that sound way better than this. Uh, in this case, again, this is wireless, but it has a really, really... Um, poor sound to it. Uh, you know, built-in microphones are probably going to do you better if you're using a laptop or if you're using this with a laptop. Lastly, it's situational. Um, you can roam about, and I was, you know, able to roam a couple feet outside my room and other rooms, but concrete walls, stuff like that, you're going to get a lot of interference, um, well, especially if there's a lot of other devices on the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum, so it is very situational in that case. Hey guys, so the final recap of these 8800s and then overall rating I'm only going to give them a solid 5 out of 10. Taking the design and everything into consideration I feel like there's a lot of better wireless headsets out there for your best bang for your buck and I hope to test more. Uh, and paying for these, I bought these originally uh, for the fact that I, I do a lot of gaming and a lot, oh, sorry, <laughs> PC gaming and I wanted to do a lot of that wirelessly. I didn't really like the wires with the Turtle Beaches, I didn't like the wires when I'm gaming and my hands are kind of you know in the desk. I don't want a lot of clutter. And in that aspect, you know, these are really great for wireless. If you're looking to clear up a lot of the clutter and cut, you know, one cable alone, then this is going to cut, you know, that of your mic cable and that of your headset cable. Um, but in that, you're going to, you know, in cutting that, you, you lose a lot of quality. Sound quality, most people will probably be able to get by with the sound quality. They're decent sound quality. Audio files, stuff like that, you're not going to really enjoy this. Um, but the mic quality, really, really poor. Um, again, I've had way better mics for way cheaper um, and in this case I'm, I prefer just using my desktop mic while I game and just use these for just for the sound alone um, but again that's a cost you're getting for using the wireless uh, end of it it's nice with the on-ear controls and everything but when it comes down to the comfortability a lot of people who have seen the reviews on Amazon stuff like that the comfortability of these headphones aren't that great the foam doesn't really adjust your head it's not like that kind of memory foam material um, the material itself just really feels like it's gonna break on me um, I've had like it kind of bend out of shape and kind of like be uneven and stuff like that. Uh, it, a lot of it just doesn't feel that great for me for something that I paid a hundred dollars for. I'm sure the technology is great. You know, the hundred dollars is probably all going toward the wireless technology, the the wireless, the Bluetooth, all of that good stuff. But again, when it comes down to it, I feel like at a hundred dollars, um, there's a lot of better solutions out there. So I'm gonna say don't buy this. I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna recommend it for a wireless headset. I'd recommend other companies out there. I'm looking into Sennheiser, Sony. Uh, they have a lot of nice solutions, and if that, I think you can just get a really just basic wireless headset. If you're looking for something with a mic, uh, again, that's a nice little bonus, but I feel like there's even better gaming headsets out there that are wireless that offer a way better quality than this um, at its price point. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I'm going to write a full blog post review over at um, digitaldojos.com with more details, pictures, etc., so be sure to check that out. It's nice to be back, guys. I know I've been gone for a while, so uh, stay tuned for more content, and thanks for watching.